Welcome to the fourth video on um, drawing tangencies. This, in this video, we are going to draw an external tangency to two equal, two unequal circles using the following steps. So first of all, we are going to draw our two unequal circles. We are going to draw two unequal circles on the same center line. That's going to be our center line. Okay, so I've got the centers for my two circles. Now we've got the centers for our circles. We are just going to neatly place our circles. So there's our Let's draw the last circle here. And then the smaller one. There's my smaller circle. So the set the centers of these circles are points A and B. We have points A here. And points B over here. There is my A. And here is my B. What you are going to do now is to draw a bisector to the line from A to B. Line from A to B, we are going to draw a bisector. And as always, place your compass on one of the points, first of the point. Open your compass more than half the length you are trying to bisect. And then you draw your arcs. So we have asked for our bisectors, bisector, sorry. Now we're going to rule our line to obtain our bisector.
Now we have our check bisector. If you remember, every time we draw the bisector to line AB or any line, it serves as a center to draw a semicircle that we need. So we are going to draw that semicircle now with the point of intersection of the bisector and line AB as the center. And then any of the points A or B as the radius. To make the explanation easy, I'm going to swap the, the letters I've used to name the centers. I want to make this rather to be a point A. And this point to be point B. I also want to name this point as point C, where the small circle is intersecting the center line. And then I'll name this point as D, where the large circle is intersecting the center line. Now we are going to find a point E on the center line of the large circle, E somewhere here, such that the distance DC will be equal to the distance DE. So in order to achieve that, we are going to transfer the distance DC on the small circle onto onto one of the center lines of the large circle, okay? So I'm going to mark my point E on the center line of the large circle. Now, that is going to be my point E. It's going to be my point E. Now we are going to stand on point A, open our compass, open our compass to touch, to touch point E. Now, when we touch point E, we can draw a line, uh, uh, another arc, small arc that will cut the large arc from B to point A. Okay. So I'm just going to open my compass to this distance so I can draw that small arc. Okay, I'm ready to go. Here's my small arc. Okay. Now where the small arc intersects the large arc, I am going to call that point G. I'm going to call that point of intersection point G. Now that point G is ready, I'm going to, with the help of my rule, draw a straight line through point A. A straight line that will go to that will go through point A and then point G to cut the circumference of the large circle. So now I draw my line. Okay. We are going to call that point. We are going to call that point at which the new line intersects the large circle point H over here. So our point H is going to be over here. 
this is our voltage. Now let us draw a straight line to connect point B to point G. Let us draw a straight line to connect it. We are going to need that straight line to draw our tangent line. Now that straight line we are going to draw is actually a tangent to the small arc I drew through point G. Okay, so I'm going to draw a straight line which will be tangent it will be tangent to okay all right something like that then i will draw a, a line from point b to point g So we've drawn our straight line through point B and point G. Now, our tangent to the large circle and the small circle is going to be a straight line that is going to pass through point H, but at the same time, parallel to line B, G. Okay, so we can use our, our straight edge, we can use our straight edge and, uh, can use our straight edge and uh, an appropriate set square. Okay, to achieve that. Or, okay, you achieve that in this way. So this is the first way we can do it. We can align our T-square and our straight edge, in your case, your T-square or a large row in this way, such that, such that you are going to, now you can see that the, the, the set square is aligned with line BG. Okay, so we just have to slide it. We'll slide our set square along the edge of the rule okay so we are able to touch point h okay and the circle so the straight line will draw here straight line will draw here, touch the circle and then through point h is the part the tangent line we seek to draw to the circle okay so let me just draw that line So the second way will be to align your, your set square and your straight edge in something like this. And then you draw a perpendicular line to line BC, BG, sorry. Now this arrangement is supposed to help to draw a perpendicular line, a perpendicular line this way, okay, to BG. Okay, so that the point at which the perpendicular line will cut the circle gives you another point, gives you another point in addition to point H. Okay, so all you have to do is to, is to join those two points without having to strive to draw a parallel line to BG. Now in both ways, we have been able to achieve our tangent to the, the large and the small circle. But whatever we have drawn has to be perpendicular. We can, we can always draw a perpendicular line from the center of the two circles to cut the tangent. Or any line we draw from the center of the two circles to through the point at which we are touching the circle would always be perpendicular. Okay, so I'm going to draw my perpendicular lines and indicate that. So I've drawn my second perpendicular line. I'm going to call this point, point J. What point? The point at which the perpendicular line 
from point B cuts the tangent line. I'm going to call that point, point J. All right, so now line J, H, and line B, G are actually parallel lines, okay? And these are the perpendiculars to them. And this is the final line we are expecting. So I'm going to make it thicker. I'm going to change the thickness of that line. Okay. Beautiful. And this essentially is my tangent line. I'm going to make it as such. This is my tangent line. So we are done drawing our tangent line.